you know, after a couple of weeks of some really, really close games, side games, come down to the, the last possession and last couple plays to continue to work and uh, come up here on a shorter week and take care of this and put together a complete game. To really have fun playing football, to play hard, uh, to be resilient. And uh, after that first drive when they went down the field and scored, felt that our guys really took control of the game and uh, maintained the momentum, albeit that one turnover in the second half. Uh, but a lot of big plays, a lot of routine plays done really well, and all in all, just a very complete game, maybe our most complete game of the year. What does it say about this team's resilience that after everything you guys have been through over the last month plus, to come in here today, road game, short week, all that stuff, and, and pull out a win like yeah. this? Well, I think it's more, it, it continues along the lines of everything we talked about. We don't stray from that. It's continued progress, right? A year ago, that was some tough sledding, you know, a very different, uh, a roster nowhere near capable of sustaining a high level of play. Improved roster, improved systems, improved schematically, improved culture. Now every game is either we're winning it or it's coming down to the wire, right? It's coming down to the last, most of them came down to the last series or so. So continued progress. And then at the end, when your back's up against the wall and you've got a short week and you got to get on the road, um, just came out. And uh, you know, weather that we're not used to, but that's beautiful weather. I mean, it's, this is as beautiful football weather as you can have. And certainly uh, just appreciate the uh, that's a good football team. So Coach Apley's done a great job with them. Um, but our guys came out and really attacked it schematically, effort-wise, really played hard and played really well. Mario, the offense today was kind of clicking basically after the first drive. Um, just did you see that in practice during the week, and what do you think was so effective today? Well, I think we saw it last week too, right? I mean, last week we get down to the three-yard line at now we're scoring 38 last week also. Um, and this week our red zone plan, we executed more effectively than we did last week. but. Uh, the last couple of weeks, you know, showed that, you know, and up in, um, and three weeks ago, we were close. The one that, the one one that got away from us was at NC State when we had some things in the red zone that were designed to take over a tie game. We didn't get that done. We didn't execute well enough. Today, uh, I just, again, we're continuing to evolve. Um, schematically, we're continuing to get more and more comfortable with what we're doing. Um, and guys, more guys are playing and playing really, really hard. And it starts up front. And, we were pretty banged up coming in, and guys found a way to fight through and win. And Henry Parrish, he's been kind of banged, he's been banged up for basically the last month or so now. To have him come in and make an impact, just how big is that for him to kind of end the year uh, on a high note like that? Yeah, see, those guys, and that never makes it because obviously I'm very, you know, about injuries, but for a reason. Yeah, he's dealt with a lot, and this was the first week where he was practicing at not 100, no one's ever 100, but 90% plus. And it showed, and sure enough, it showed in some really, really, really big plays. You know, a lot of guys showed up big today. Um, Tyler Van Dyke, his performance today. Well, I think he played excellent. I mean, what was he, 22, 36, just about 300 yards, a couple of touchdowns. I thought that some of the best things of the play that never made the stat sheet, getting rid of the football under pressure, you know, taking off of the football, putting in second and six when everybody's covered up, and he's under pressure, so... He's done a great job. Um, tremendous credit to him. He's he's a great competitor, awesome young man, and a really good football player. All right, you you hope to see him back. I guess that's a given, right? Next year, he said I, he's. I'm not going to comment on that, Susan. You know, okay. I think it's time to let these guys get their space and agree that it's only fair and it's only right. And I certainly don't want to speak for anyone or anything. We're not ready to do that yet. Strictly here, at the, I would respectfully ask that we stick to uh, this game. And the guys have played in it because after this, we're in, a, we're in the wild, wild west of college football. And it is completely unpredictable uh, for everybody, including ourselves. On that note, can you just talk, I mean, the portal opens, and I know you don't have a lot of the game, but just what's your schedule like as the next couple weeks go on? Relentlessly going forward. We made a huge jump in our roster this year, and we expect to turn it over by a large chunk again. And we don't, we don't slow down, except for about the opportunities that come with it. You're going to gain some, you're going to lose some, and you go full throttle. And every opportunity you have is an opportunity to get better. That's the way we see it. And I see it that way as it relates to personnel, as it relates to coaches, as it relates to everyone and everything. That's the way this business rolls. The offensive um, performance today, did you feel like it was trending in that direction as the week went on? Um, and is it, were you able to take, uh, I guess, an advantage of what BC showed you on defense? or? Just what led to the offensive output? 
Well, I think it's been coming. You know, I think last week it took. I thought it was coming. I mean, it's almost 38 points last week. Um, but and then there's been flashes throughout the season. Then there's that four game just rut in the middle where we're really um, we just weren't ourselves. So like anything else, you adapt. You start finding ways to get the hand the ball in the hands of the right people or the guys that can do things really well. Really focus on what they can do well. Um, evolve a little bit, create some more opportunities to, to just make things a little bit less cloudy. Does that make sense? Because sometimes, you know, like some of those runs are, you know, one yard and, you know, what the heck, we're running up the middle. It's the same run that broke the 40 yards at the end, you know. We try to keep create air and space because our roster's getting better and better. We're getting more guys that can do stuff with football. Um, and today was, today was a really good example, just a complete team game. I mean, I see a lot of Morgan getting a reception. That's a treat, you know. And uh, I mean, um, my man uh, Popo, you know, what a good player he's going to be. Um, but so many other guys stepped up. Jake Lichtenstein playing through a, a hyperextended elbow. I mean, I think just seeing how swollen that is. It's just a tough, tough guy. I see Elijah Royo get healthy enough to get some plays. He's not all the way there, but um, you know, really good game by a lot of the wide receivers. Um, the punter had one shot, you know, to get out there and do some things. Disappointing in the field goal, you know, we didn't block it very well, we didn't kick it very well. But besides that, Andy played great all touchbacks. Um, just had the ball for most, I think, 38 minutes plus. Third down was over 50%, red zone was at a high clip. So it's, uh, it's how you want to put together games. You know, those are hard to come by, you know, when you put one together like that. So proud of our guys. Martin, Xavier Rochefort, obviously a big game today coming off of another big game before. What did you see from him today? I thought the fourth down play was about as big as, you know, Calling guys number cover zero, right? So cover zero, it's you know we're gonna get there, we're gonna hit you. You know, try to make a play on us, and, and certainly we did. The fourth down on the first drive and the fourth down on that drive were really difference makers. One put us up seven, or tied us up seven seven. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, no. yep. yep, and the other one was it? and the other one put us up twenty eight to seven. So those things, um, the first one put us up. So those things right there were. Uh, they were, they were just critical plays and executed at a really high level. We've been seeing it in practice. You know, that on purpose? Like, What's that? Is that the guy that you guys were going for on those plays, or is just another thing? Right? Well, he's one of them. I mean, we feel we felt that uh, we feel that these guys they they can make they can make plays, you know, and they had the opportunities to make them, and uh, and, uh, and they they made them. So it was awesome. It was awesome to watch. You know, what was good to do. It was good to watch those guys have fun, you know, and um, they know they know what's up. I mean. We've come miles. We've come miles and miles and miles, and sometimes the end result ain't exactly there, but it, this is still a matter of people, processes, time, and effort. And Miami is trending strong in the right direction, and uh, these next couple of weeks will also be critical to our push to continue moving in that direction. We're going to do a couple more questions for Coach. Mario, uh, Jacoby and Burchard uh, didn't get in in the first quarter. Was that as a result of their unsportsmanlike conduct last week? It was. And they handled it really well. You know, it's uh, those guys are really good. People and they're good players. Um, but we talked about it. that's enough. We just ain't doing that. It's not us. And really, it's not them. So um, it is what it is. Handled it well. Came out after. Made some good plays. And then you mentioned you mentioned uh, I think in your opening statement about the defense. Like rough first drive, they come back and do pretty well. Was that you think that was maybe just like Boston College, a scripted drive that just worked out well from what they saw on tape, or something the defense was doing that they had to adjust to? No, I just think you know football. They have good football players too. You know, that quarterback's a handful now. Castellanos, I mean, he could do it with his arm, he could do it with his feet. I mean, I don't know what his, uh, what he is, uh, you know, if you took the metrics of how fast he runs and how quick he is, but he is hard to contain now. He is really, even when you know it's coming, he is hard to contain. He can make people miss and he puts his head down. He turns out extra yards. That guy, he's, a, he's an excellent football player. And they got a great staff, Coach Apple and his people. You watch them throughout the course of the year. They, they didn't go on a five game winning streak by accident. You know, those guys are good good football players and good coaches. Mario, the ball Last game, question. this this has to propel you a little bit as far as they're, you know, get some more pump, get some more optimistic and stuff. For us, I mean, honestly, the guy, the kind of guys that we recruit and the way we do this culture-wise, you have to be excited to play football in the parking lot in front of nobody. That's just the way it's got to be. This, this, this program, our program, the way that we build it, you can't have guys that – Let's say this way, you gotta have an unconditional love for football. You know, it's not circumstantial where, oh, okay, I feel like it today, or, 
football is not for booty people, you know, when you want to play and when you don't want to play. And we're training. Our roster is getting better and better about guys that just they want to play ball and are willing to play ball anytime, anywhere. So we'll see. We'll put our roster together, heal up some guys, and, and get ready for an opportunity here in the postseason, which is exciting for us, exciting for an opportunity to get one number eight. Is, Namar, is it possible that Jakari could get into the bowl game? I mean, him and a bunch of other we guys. We haven't seen him, so everybody's asking. I know, but we played a good football game today. He's not just coming. He's a good football player. Okay. I get you. I know the question. Come on weekly. He's a good football player. Thank you very much. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. And happy Thanksgiving. And happy safe Thanksgiving travels, to you. okay? Thank, thank you. Thank you.